What we're going to do first of all is we're going to uh, grab the ODP card, which is usually located near a service port, and we're going to have a look at what was last done on this vehicle. We can see that number one indicates there was a leak detected. It was nitrogen charged evaporator core as a small leak, so we've since replaced the evaporator core. And uh, number five indicates that there's no refrigerant in the system at this point. So what we're going to do now that we've made the repairs is uh, we're going to uh, hook on the gauges. We're going to pressure test the system and make sure that we've repaired all the leaks. We can use the service pit uh, port here for our high side fitting. The high side fitting just clips on over top and then we just simply turn the knob in to depress the Schrader valve and we'll do the same thing on the low side port. We're going to uh, remove the low side cap now from the Schrader. Very important caps are left in place. Uh, the cap, uh, especially on the low side, is important for keeping out dust and dirt, but it's also uh, going to protect the system. There's a Schrader valve in here, and uh, this Schrader valve in a low pressure situation can actually go into a vacuum and cause air to be drawn in past the Schrader valve, which would add uh, water vapor. We don't want any water vapor, one droplet can cause problems with freeze up in the evaporator. So we just simply hook on our Schrader valve and uh, turn the fitting in and we're ready to go.